Hi, my name is Joachim. Uh, I'm from Elastix and today's session we're going to do a load test on the system and uh, see how G the Gelastic platform is scaling. So, uh, the test we're going to do is on a WordPress site. So, it's very easy to set up. I uh, actually only did a uh, one-click install. Uh, this is from our homepage, elastics.com. You can go scroll down on the first page here and you see just a, a selection of one click installers. Uh, you just enter your email address, uh, click next, and you will receive a mail with a link. Click the link and you will have a WordPress site installed uh, on your Gelastic account. So, this is the control panel in Gelastic. Here you see the WordPress site. I've done a couple of changes to the default WordPress installation. Uh, first, of course, I did a, a normal setup and unloaded some content with images and stuff like that, so we can actually have something to generate a load on. Uh, but I have also done two things uh, with the topology and the configuration of, of the servers. Uh, one thing is that I have added one load balancer, one Nginx load balancer on top. Uh, the application servers are also Nginx, uh, running in PHP 5.3 and a MySQL database. If we're going to look at the uh, application server here, uh, you can see that it is 2 GB of RAM and 3.2 GHz of CPU power uh, for each node, and it's just a single node running. Okay. So, the configuration change I have done on the Nginx machine uh, is that I've changed the number of workers. So, just press configuration, uh, get the configuration file, nginx.conf, and you see that the worker processes are uh, default 1 uh, when you do a default install, and I've just changed that to 5. So, it's very easy. Uh, just change the number and press save, and uh, here you go, change the, change the setting. Uh, and then you can go in, uh, do, uh, go in and do a restart as well, restart node, and just the setting is, is uh, down there. Okay, uh, also oh, on the load balancer I've done the same change, uh, just change the number of workers. Uh, so it's 10 on the load balancer as well. Okay, so the tool I am going to use now is uh, load impact. Uh, it is a, a cloud service for uh, load testing, very easy and, and powerful tool. Um, we're going to look at the test configuration that I have prepared for the site. It's a WordPress test here. Going in and see here. So uh, it actually simulates 500 users uh, over a period of 10 minutes. So it's going to start with one user and go up to 500 users. So we will see how the uh, the platform behaves as, as more users are added to the to the platform. So uh, this actually provisions uh, the load machines uh, on Amazon uh, for generating the load. And so I'm using the European site as as we are located in Sweden. Uh, the European Ireland site uh, from from Amazon is, is the closest closest one. So let's uh, yeah I'm gonna show you the uh, user scenario as well. Uh, you can go in and record your own scenario, or can you just let Load Impact to generate an, a default one based on on the, how your page is, is uh, looking. So what I've done is do a full load on the first page. Uh, I do a search. And from the search results, I go in and uh, choose that article. So, if you want to see what I will do, is actually kick off this test because it takes a few seconds for it to, to start. Start test. There you go. So now the load impact is starting to provisioning machines in on the Amazon cloud to generate the load. So, uh, the WordPress site, uh, if we're going to open it in browser, you can see that this is uh, a standard WordPress with a few articles here and, Im and images and stuff on the first page. Uh, what, so, what I've done is 
uh, for the user scenario is do a search for Sweden. Go in there and open that art article that that we found in the search. So that's what you, what each user will do. Uh, simulated user will do during the load test. So here the start is just uh, the test is just starting here from Ireland up to the service that we have in Sweden. Uh, we are now up to well 15 users, 60 connections are open and, and increasing fast. Um, here is the gra graph that we are going to uh, look into. Uh, this is the number of users. Um, this is the response time for the whole uh, uh, test we're doing, opening the first page, doing a search and uh, opening the article from from the search. So it's looking good here. Uh, we are up to around 40 users here soon and still delivering the page here for uh, around one and a half second. It's gonna see here what happens when the load increases. Here you go. Uh, now you can see that we actually doubled the load time. So from one and a half seconds, we are up to three, now four seconds. So that would say that we are close to the resource limit that we have in on this session here. So this is a bit of lag because it calculates the average over a certain period and then shows. So this is the number of cloudlets. This, this is how we uh, uh, count resources in the, the Elastic platform. One cloudlet is 128 megabytes of RAM and 200 megahertz of CPU power. So this is close to the limit and I will guess this is, will be updated very soon uh, to show that we are actually out of resources because we, we go in and see the here we're up to 15 second load times now with 100 users and that's a bit too much. Yeah. And here you see out of resources as well. So what we are going to do now is actually just do vertical scaling. I just on the nginx node here we have we're going to add on resources. So I'm going to double the resources. Do 4 gig of RAM and 6.4 gigahertz of CPU. Apply. And this is fully online. I can do this while it's running. I don't have to do any reboot or anything. Just add more power to this machine. And now it's done. And we can go back here and see what, what's happening. Uh, it's a bit of lag of the result because it, it keep, uh, measures the results and then uh, calculates that and then you can see it in the, in the graph there. And you can see the, the load time directly goes down because I added some power to, to the machine. Uh, but as, as uh, users continue to grow, now we're up to 150, but uh, we managed to, to save some of it, but oh, no, going going up even more because still within added resources we still can't handle the load. So another thing <coughs> that is often a, a better way to, to actually grow the platform is doing it uh, horizontally instead by adding node. So what we're going to do now is add another node. So apply that so now we're adding one more server uh, with WordPress installed with all the data and everything uh, so what Jelas is actually doing is provisioning a whole new server copying all the configuration and application files and uh, when it's done it will spread the load between two, those two services now we're adding double the capacity that that we had before this takes about maybe one minute uh, for the full provisioning, uh, actually faster because it's it's done already. So now you see that we have uh, 64 cloudlets in total, and uh, we were using 32 there. So if we're going to see here, so we should see a result there soon that the uh, response time should actually improve a lot when we have doubled the capacity and, and added more. Yeah, here you go. I will see a lot better response times, but still, it's it's actually pretty pretty high load on, on the system. Uh, we are soon uh, close to 250 users uh, working 
using the sites here and uh, we are down to response times around six, five, uh, five or six seconds there uh, for the whole user scenario. See how the load is, uh, hasn't been, been updated, should be, up to, be updated there soon. This uh, is updated uh, once a minute. Uh, and you can actually get alerted. Uh, so if, if the load is, is closing in, yeah, here you see, we added the machines and uh, we're out of resources again. And we are up to yeah, a bit over 275 users around. Okay, so what I am going to do now is actually add on two more nodes and I'm going to add on some resources to each node as well. So I'm going to go up to, uh, let's see, our 6, six gig of RAM and uh, 9.6 gigahertz of, of CPU power per node and then two additional nodes. So we'll have four nodes with this configuration. I'm going to apply that. So now we are provisioning two additional nodes and adding resources to uh, to the new resource level on all of the nodes. A good thing with, with the Jelastic platform and, and how you actually uh, get billed for, for the use, usage is that we don't charge for the maximum capacity of the platform when you, when you set it up. So if you set a, a maximum capacity as, as we did now of around 6 gig of RAM and 10 gigahertz of CPU, uh, you don't pay for that. You only pay for what you actually are using. So it's not like if you're using Amazon, for example, you just you choose an, uh, a size of machines and you pay for that machine, either if you use the capacity or not. Uh, in this case, you actually set up the platform and everything is measured on usage. So you don't have to pay for anything else. And not something that you are not using. So still provisioning two nodes there. The nodes are down, uh, linking that to the load balancer and setting the, no the new cloudlet limit for the two existing nodes. Now it's done. So now you can see that we have a total of 192 cloudlets and uh, the last time we got a response to it, we were using 64 of those. And you can actually go down here and see statistics on the node. You can do that on a, a single node. You see the first one here, you see it raised low there and then it went down. We added no uh, additional nodes and, and so on. And uh, or you can do a, a summarized usage for all the machines in the platform. So now we could, should be able to see quite a, a drop there in uh, response times when we first added the nodes and now we added the resources to those nodes. And now we are actually down to the response times that, that we had from the beginning with just a, a few clients on there. Uh, so now we're down to uh, uh, one and a half seconds and that's what we had in the beginning when we're just a few machines, a few clients and just a single WordPress machine. So very easy to scale uh, both up and down uh, because uh, it's it's just as easy in removing clients <coughs> nodes i mean to the platform as it as it is to adding them and uh, you can also see that the number of connections are still rising and we still have the same great response down here and uh, And you can see this on, on every level. You can go in and look at the performance results on, on the database. We're actually not using much much CPU there. Uh, we can see it on the uh, load balancer and the performance we're using there. Uh, but here is a great overview uh, of the number of uh, cloudlets that are being used for, for each, each node and also the, the total um, environment here. 
So we have a total of 218 and 169 is used now. And when, when we do a drill down here, you can see that the application service are now it's it's uh, okay level. Uh, we still have some some room there, and uh, we can see that um, from the load test that we are still performing pretty pretty well here around two seconds uh, load time for those pages so and that's good for 500 users and I would say 500 user is, is uh, about an estimated uh, site that has around a hundred thousand users for uh, over a month uh, of period so now the test is done so it's been uh, great showing you and uh, hope we see each other again have a nice day.